Hold on, I know the hate won't get me or ever stop me. Low key, but that chopper speaking it talks so loudly. Working off his What's good with y'all family? It's your man's Zellex. Like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, man, love yourself. Elevate. But hey, man, this is on my second video of the Zodiac series. This is going to be my tourist video. Like I said in my last video, the Zodiac series is for y'all because I'm, I'm pushing y'all. I'm pushing y'all to go learn more about your Zodiac sign. Go get your birth chart done. I'm doing the birth chart readings now. If you need help reading them and stuff, you can send it to my email and I'll help you out, man, because I want everybody out here striving for their best self. But you need to learn that that is a way to learn yourself you know what i mean and so this is why we're doing this zodiac series so people can take in these energies I understand that um even though you might have this is just sun characteristics and kind of idea with some people like your sun but understand your birth chart shows that you have a whole bunch of different energies in your chart you get what i'm saying like starting with like you got like your sun you got your moon you got your um your venus sign like your sun is how you outwardly portray yourself your moon sign is how you feel your um, rising sign is what you look like and what's your first impression to people, you feel me? So, um, for example, I am a Sagittarius, Sun, Virgo, Moon, and I'm a rising Scorpio. So, that means people think I'm a Scorpio when they see me first time, you know what I mean? But anyway, bro, let's get into this video for this um, Taurus. So, um, first, I'm going to read off a little list about some people who got the Taurus. Um, and they Sun sign, so maybe you can get an idea of, like, Taurus people in your mind type idea, you know what I mean? All right, Dwayne Johnson, so The Rock. Um, Travis Scott, Black China. Janet Jackson, Stevie Wonder. Tim Duncan. Chris Brown, Meek Mill. Cam Newton. Master P, Adele. George Clooney. David Beckham. Channing Tatum. Queen Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, Queen Elizabeth II. John Cena. Stevie Wonder. And Megan Fox. All right, now, I done told y'all that the Zodiac is ruled by 12 houses. You know what I mean? There's 12 houses of the Zodiac, and each house is ruled by a Zodiac sign. I told you the first house is ruled by Aries, which is self. You get what I'm saying? Now, the second house is ruled by Taurus. The second house is... But Taurus is ruled by the second house, which is money. The sense of value, earned income, possessions. Like I told you there's like there's elements you know what i mean i told y'all like the elements like fire is the aries it's a cardinal fire sign so now we're at taurus taurus is a fixed earth sign so taurus are fixed in their ways think about it like that okay now they're very like i'm not gonna say materialistic but they're very good at manifesting things in this third dimension that we live in you get what i'm saying so like think about this like a lot of Taurus people like you'll never see a Taurus person who's like without a lot of things because like they put themselves in a position that like they are really like smart and cunning when it comes to like how them like money like they understand how to get money in this dimension like all the Taurus people I know are all money getters you know what I mean and like they understand all the little things they can upsell stuff it's like it's easy for them you understand like that's their sense of security because that's what they're naturally in you get what i'm saying the sun characteristics of taurus so now another thing like you got to think like if you um let's like let me break it down like this because i'm not trying to say anything negative about them but well not like that but think about it like this the positive things about taurus is like they're very family oriented they really love their family like you get what i'm saying and like they'll do anything for like their loved ones but that's really where it ends i'll be honest and like it's really crazy because like the way tourists go about things like they're very hard working if they want to do the job if like this like a flip side because like you got to think like tourists they can like they love enjoying the earthly like you know what i'm saying they love enjoying earthly things because they're an earth sign a fixed earth sign so you like so it's easy for tourists to be lazy but if they're, but you understand, like, for you to be able to be lazy in this world that we live in today, like the society that we live in today, you have to work hard for that to happen. So I am because of that, that makes tourist people super hard working most of the time, whenever they're doing a job they want to. But I feel like a tourist person will take the first opportunity to get out the job. You know what I mean? If they see it, cause like they're very smart. And, um, Another thing, because I all like I said, it all goes into what your moon sign is and what your other signs and energies you have in your chart and stuff. You know what I mean? But as far as the Taurus energy, the Taurus energy is just like 
you thank Earth and thank fixed in their ways. Like, you know what I mean? Like a fixed Earth sign. So like we're earthly and we're fixed in these earthly things. And so like a Taurus person enjoys all the materialistic stuff. Like if you have a Taurus girlfriend, like she probably wants a bag. You know what I mean? She loves the materialistic thing. Taurus people show they love by getting you things. Like a lot of Taurus people show love by getting you things because that's the only way they know how to do things. It's their best way of them trying to show them like trying to show love, you know what I mean? And even when a tourist person will like be on their last dollar, but to show love for their loved one, they'll go get something like a gift from the Dollar Tree that like means something like, you know what I mean? Like they put thought into gift giving and stuff like that because the materialistic stuff means stuff to them. You know what I mean? Because it means something because they're an earth fixed sign. Now, go on, keep in this mind, keep into the mindset, the earth fixed sign, they're fixed in their ways. Now, I told y'all all these zodiac signs are represented by something. And you know what the Taurus is represented by? The bull. And so, unlike the Aries, they can get very angry, but the Taurus are very fixed in their way. So if they get angry, uh, Aries is the type of person who you gotta think like the constellations are next to each other, you take in energies from both those both those constellations. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm born on the cusp on the very um beginning of December. So I take on cusp um, energies of the um, Scorpio energies. So get what I'm saying. So naturally, Taurus people are naturally, when they get pissed, they get pissed. You know what I mean? They get angry. But like the way they go about it is the opposite of how Aries does because Aries is a masculine energy. I done told y'all there's masculine and feminine energies. Taurus is a feminine earth sign. So the way that they display anger and stuff like that is way more cunning. Like if a Taurus person is mad at you, they won't come at you verbally. They're gonna, they'll ignore you and they'll make, it'll make it make um, known, like they'll make it known that they, they are ignoring you. You know what I mean? Like they'll make it very known. Like they'll go out their way to talk to people around you, but they won't talk to you, different things like that. And like, that's just the Taurus energy at times. But it's like, when you're in their good graces, like they're great people to be around. But whenever, um, just whenever like, Things are kind of going like off the hinges, rigid. They really, I don't know, they're not really like all for it. You know what I mean? And I think that's just like, it's the sense of value. You know what I mean? Like they always have to have a sense of value and sense of like right and good. And so it's like, especially in the society that we are built in today, it's like, if you're a tourist person, you are coming from, you grew up in the age of Pisces. So Stay with me, because this is, like I said, this is a video for you to help find yourself, bro. So if you're a Taurus and you clicked on this video, you need to understand what you are. And so how you can better yourself, bro, and help yourself elevate to the next version of yourself. Because we need all these people who are here for us to come together so we can make a better world for everybody down the line. You know what I mean? But this is what I'm saying, bro. Check me out, Taurus. So yeah, man, you grew up in the age of Pisces. So you have to understand the age of Pisces was us all taking on Pisces traits. Like, just like we're in the age of the Aquarius, so now everybody is searching for knowledge. Everybody is pushing for understanding. You get what I'm saying? So, being a Taurus and growing up in the age of the Pisces, where all these religions and all these false belief systems are putting, like, putting here in front of us, the wool in front of our eyes, all these different things, you being a fixed earth sign, you learning that at a young age, and having a family that backs all that things and backs all these things, it hurts your improvement because you will never even think like, and like I don't say Christianity, if you're a Christian, like they tell you that the Zodiac is against the Bible and it's like, it's the devil. You know what I mean? When we follow the calendar every day, that's astrology every day. And like, it's all in your perspective of things, man. And it's crazy because like, like I said, growing up in the age of the Pisces, being a Taurus person is like all those things that you took on that were false knowledge and false information and all these fake and agenda things that got pushed on you like this. You are fixed in those ways now. And you have to come out of it to understand it. You know what I mean? The truth will set you free. You know what I mean? And what I'm saying is like for you as a Taurus person to be a, what you need to be doing is you gotta sometimes I'm not saying get away from your life and get away from all your things, but I'm a spiritual person. Not spiritual, because I don't even call it that. But I'm just me, you know what I mean? I'm one. But 
you got to get away from like the a lot of different things man like because Taurus is they're also like they're ruled by Venus like I can get into this I love Taurus people because like my OG's is a Taurus my mom's is a Taurus you feel me and my one of my closest homies is a Taurus but they're ruled by Venus so mostly Tauruses are very creative not even creative but like they're very gifted they're ruled by the throat chakra you feel me and so they have very nice voices a lot of Tauruses usually can keep a tune except for my mom's <laughs> but like a lot of Tauruses can keep a tune or they can sing or they have really nice voices another thing about Taurus is like they're very sexual they're very um they're um ruled by Venus so like they're ruled by sex so like a Taurus needs good sex for their relationship to work out so it's like that's another like sex is a materialistic thing that's the thing that's like um what's the word it's something that like links you to the world you know what I mean it links you to your ego you know what I mean and so that's why like my one Taurus homie, I was trying to tell him like about semen retention and all that. And he wasn't really trying to hear it. He was like, man, I don't know. I was some, I'm on semen retention for today, for two days now. I'm about to go see my girl. But it's whatever, bro. But it's like, as a Taurus person, you have to slowly but surely understand what you are. You are naturally given, like you're, you're in the second house, which is ruled by money. So naturally money is going to come to you. You know what I'm saying? You are naturally attracting money. You are naturally attracting money. You are naturally attracting money. Like, that's your gift. You're naturally attracting these worldly things. Now, there's a flip side. It's a double knife. It's a double-edged sword. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Because naturally, because all the things that were put here on this earth for you to love and for you to push to get, that's all the shit that's holding you back from being a higher version of yourself. You get what I'm saying, man? Like, check me out. So, if... You are constantly working and you constantly doing all these things for materialistic things and all these things. You are never pushing to yourself to your higher spiritual self, bruh. And not even saying your spiritual self, but your one. You know what I mean? Your one. The one consciousness. You know what I mean? Your, uh, the ultimate understanding. You are never pushing yourself to that. And even if you're a Christian or you are a Muslim or you are whatever you believe in, you are never pushing yourself. Like I guarantee you. You are never pushing yourself because you are letting these materialistic things hold you on. You need to push yourself to get away of like the entertainment. Entertainment is a form of materialistic things. Like you need to understand that sometimes you need to step away from entertainment and step away from everything, the social media, all those different things for you to get better yourself because like it's so crazy. Like towards people, like you are supposed to be an entrepreneur. You are supposed to be like, you're supposed to be a millionaire. You're supposed to be my mom was an author, like New York Times bestselling author, Taurus. Like, y'all are meant to Cam Newton. Like, I read the I read the list off of some of those people who are Taurus people, bruh. Like, the Taurus energy is great, bruh. Like, and when it comes to, like, succeeding, bruh, so you need to, like, come into yourself, bruh. But you are never going to come into yourself because Taurus people have a tendency to be lazy. And it's easy, to be, like I said, it's easy for a Taurus person to be lazy because they enjoy the materialistic life. They enjoyed the materialistic life. They, they enjoyed this, bro. Like, and it's like, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, for you to actually be living into your best point and your best higher knowledge of your understanding, like, you got to take your time and get away from all the materialistic stuff, Taurus. That's all I'm saying. Because once you do that, then you're really going to be able to find true love for yourself that doesn't revolve around um, materialistic things, whole bunch of different things. But, um... I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to say about Taurus before I end this video? Oh, yeah. Hey, Taurus people, they're very, very, very possessive of anything. Like I said, they're very earthly, fixed earth signs, so they're very possessive of their things. And that's including people, that's including their materialistic things, that's including everything. Like I said, one of my closest OGs is a Taurus. My mom's a Taurus. My homie's a Taurus. I know these Taurus people, bro. I know these Taurus people, bro. But let me tell you, like when it comes to the materialistic things, they hold on to it very, very tightly. You feel me? It's my car. It's my house. It's my, 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 my. You get what I'm saying? And um, even if it's like with their relationships, with their friendships, it's very, not. I'm not going to say egocentrical, but it's like, it's very my and possessive. You get what I'm saying? Like, once a Taurus gets on, like, if you're in a relationship with, like, a new Taurus girl, let's say, like, you you and a Taurus girl, you talking, and y'all hit it off really well, and, like, y'all start, not dating, but, like, y'all hanging out or whatever, like, she, she, trust me, she done already ran it through in her mind, and once she gets 
a hold of you, bruh. She not hold, she holding on to like Taurus will put themselves through like if you were Taurus watching this, you will put yourself through the worst relationship that is not positive for you, that is not good for you, that is not pushing you forward because you are, are a fixed earth sign and you are fixed in your ways and that you hate, like you won't let anyone tell you that you're wrong because you're a fixed earth sign and you're stuck in your ways. Like, understand, bruh, like, sometimes, like, there's so many people who are in your life and they're not supposed to be in your life. Like, they are not affecting your life in a positive light. They are holding you back. They're hindering you. You get what I'm saying, Taurus? Now, they're hindering you. Now, because of who you are and you not knowing who you are, not knowing who you are, you let these people stay in your life. You hold on to these people. These people ain't doing nothing for you. They ain't helping your, they ain't helping your growth. And even though you might be helping them, they're not appreciating you. They're not doing a lot of things, and they're not. They're toxic for you in some, in some sense, for your spiritual mind, for your oneness. You get what I'm saying? And all I'm saying, bro, is reflect on these things, bro, and then go do some research. Like I said, bro, I don't got all the answers, bro. I don't got all the answers. I got this one consciousness that I'm giving you right now. This, this frequency I'm giving you. So. Like I said, all I could do is give you the information and you can go on the computer and do your own research and find out about yourself, bro, and go get your birth chart done and go find out about yourself. So that way you can push yourself to your higher level. You know what I'm saying, bro? If you're a tourist person, bro, ain't no reason you should be broke. Ain't no reason you should be hating yourself. Ain't no reason you should be holding on to these relationships when you the prize, bro. Understand what you are, bro. Like like I said, bro, I got tourist people, bro. Y'all are great energies to have, bro, when y'all are... Knowing what you are, bro. Know what you are, bro. Go learn your rest of your chart, bro. And understand what you here are supposed to be doing, bro. If you got this money, bro, and you got some all this money, bro, there's a bigger reason why you got this money. And it ain't for you just to have all this materialistic stuff to enjoy. And that's some real shit, bro. Because I know tourist people who don't got some bank, bro. Like I said, I read the list, bro. I know people who got money, bro, who are tourist people, bro. Just even in real life, bro. And it's about what you gonna do with that, bro. And like... Like I said, bro, go find out your birth chart, bro. Go look at your North Note, bro. Go see if you're supposed to be, a, like, if you a cancer, North Note. You're supposed to have a big family, and that's why all this money is coming to you, because you're supposed to be giving the world consciousness. So you're supposed to be giving this world life. Go find out what you are, bro. Maybe you a Libra, bro, and you're supposed to be running a campaign to change this world for the bigger purpose of people, because people are still getting abused out here, bro. Go check your birth note, bro. I mean, not your birth note. Go check your North Note. Go look at your... Go get your birth chart done, bro. Come on. Like, bro, all I'm saying, bro, maybe you a Sagittarius, bro. Like, a Sagittarius North Note. And you supposed to travel the world, bro. You supposed to travel the world and learn all these new cultures, bro. And, and get in tune with your other self, bro. Your higher self, bro. Like I told you, the fire signs are spiritual signs, bro. So maybe you supposed to, you a Sagittarius, um, fire, I mean, North Note, bro. And you supposed to be traveling the world with this money that you coming in with this, this life right here. And supposed to be building for your next life. But like I'm saying, bro, don't be fixed in your ways, bro. Like, that's all I'm saying for you Taurus people, bro. Don't be fixed in your ways, bro, because if you get fixed in your ways, you're going to be down the road, and you're going to be 45, and your kids aren't even going to be talking to you, bro, because you're going to be so egotistical, and the only kid who's going to talk to you is the one who still needs you for mental stability because you didn't raise them right. Or you're going to end up with a kid who don't even care for you. But anyway, bro, that's besides the point. But anyway, bro, I'm going to get off here, bro. But like I said, man, this has been the video for Taurus Energy. And like I said, bro, this is just a partial energy. If you, Like I said, if you got Taurus because that's where you were born at, that's not your only energy in your chart, bro. Go look up your birth chart. Go figure out that there's more than just one energy, bro. And there's more than just one planet that rules your chart, bro. The sun don't just rule your chart, bro. There's a moon in your chart. There's a Venus. There's a Mars. There's a... Uranus, there's all those things, bro. So go find out who you are, bro. And that's why I encourage you. And that's why I'm here for you, bro. If you need any help, man, go email me, bro. At the real Denzel X at gmail.com. But I got you, bro. But anyway, man, like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, man, love yourself. Elevate. Get to know yourself. I'm gone. Gone.